Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today Apple has just released iOS 16.1.1 to the public. Now this is a really important update to iOS 16 as it has been released to actually fix a very serious bug that has been affecting a lot of iOS users. But first of all, let's take a look at this update and then we're going to talk all about what's new on this update. Now first of all, let's take a look at the size of the update iOS 16.1.1 should come to your device at around 300 to 400 megabytes. Of course, it's not a big update. It doesn't have any new features, UI changes or visual changes it's just specifically released to fix bugs and of course improve ios now as i said it should come at around 300 to 400 megabytes that of course if you have ios 16.1 currently on your device and based on which device you have that size should be different and the build number for ios 16.1.1 is 20b101 that's the new build number for the new iOS 16.1.1. So what does iOS 16.1.1 do? Well, as I told you, we have been expecting this update to be released this week. One, to fix a bug, which is a Wi-Fi bug. That's really important. And two, to actually bring satellite calling to iPhone 14. We're going to talk about it in a second here. But first of all, let's talk about the bug. Now, this is a Wi-Fi bug that has been widespread and has been affecting a lot of iOS users. Basically, what the bug was, you have your iPhone on standby connected to your Wi-Fi, a strong connection. It would just disconnect from the Wi-Fi network and just leave you connected to your cellular network. So without even having basically a reason to disconnect, not a weak connection or something like that, I had that problem actually on iOS 16 myself. Just It would just randomly disconnect from the Wi-Fi network. And this update, iOS 16.1.1, has been specifically released to actually fix this problem. So if you have been having this problem, make sure you go ahead and immediately update your device. Of course, if you want to update your device, over the air is always the best choice. Simply go to your settings, general, and of course go to software update, but make sure that you have more than 50% of battery. That way it will update over the air otherwise it won't or just keep it connected to your charger and you're good to go earlier on the video i talked about the satellite connectivity feature for the iphone 14s now we have been waiting for that feature to come with iOS 16.1.1 the rumor was that this update will actually bring this feature to the iphone 14 series but it did not so if you have been expecting for that bad news it's not here hopefully it will be with iOS 16.2 Otherwise, we will have to wait for 2023 to get that feature because only then Apple will release iOS 16.3, which actually should have that feature if it doesn't come with 16.2. So what's next for iOS? So as you know, today we had the release of iOS 16.1.1. Yesterday, Apple released iOS 16.2 Beta 2, and we should expect iOS 16.2 to be released sometime on mid-December so according to the report by Mark Grumman it will be on mid-December so I'm, I'm expecting it on the 12th or 13th of December that those are the two days that I expect this software to go out to the public so I don't really expect Apple to release any new software until iOS 16.2 goes out to the public probably iOS 16.1.1 will be the last update to iOS 16 until mid-December about a month from now when we'll get iOS 16.2 released to the public. So that's basically for this video guys. This is iOS 16.1.1, an update I suggest everyone updates because it's really, really important and it will fix a very important bug. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.